Hello B, what is up? It is me, your boy Abe Joseph, and if you have a brain and eyes, then you've probably seen the title. Now, you know, a while back, back in 2019, I got a Goku Black Time Ring. You know, the thumbnail was, you know, not that, you know, it wasn't very impressive or anything. It was, it was like Goku Black with what? It was like, what? But you're immortal. So, you know, I ended up giving that ring to somebody else. I did not want it anymore. And it wasn't because, like, I didn't like it or anything. It was just, it was a plastic ring. So, you know, I gave it up, you know. Nothing too big or serious or anything. It was like I didn't want it. It wasn't what I was looking for. I mean, it was a cosplay ring. It had a little bitty strap thing on it. Um, and when I say that, I mean it had, like, a little latch-like thing on the back. Um, which is why I can't, uh, quit wearing it and everything. It was also plastic and everything, so it was literally, like, I think I got it for, like, a dollar on eBay. You know, it was pretty cheap. I mean, everything, so, I mean, like, I wasn't complaining too bad. I was just like, hey, I'm gonna give it to somebody, you know, like, they can control time. You know, just joking around and stuff, because it's called a time ring, guys. Like, gotta joke around a little bit. Now, I'm not gonna lie and say that I haven't worn the item I'm about to show you, but, um, over a it was actually, yeah, a day from a month ago, I ordered a Goku Black Time Ring on a website called Etsy. Now, I've never ordered off this before. I did not I did not get this ring off Etsy. This ring I got off a completely different site. This is a Great Gatsby ring. And the reason I'm pointing that out is because, you know, instead of going on a website that I've used before, I went on a completely new one. Now, this ring took, this ring took forever to get here. And it was because it was probably from a different country. And this one, like I said, took a month to get here. It, like, every day that went by, I was like, oh, man, I got scammed, I got scammed. I was, I was, I was afraid I got scammed, guys. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, when you buy things overseas, and they don't, like, we're so used, like, we, you usually get things here, like, within a week or two weeks or something like that. When something takes a month, man, you're getting a little bit scared. You're thinking, man, I, I spent $79 on this because I wanted a real metal ring. One that stood out and stood true to the series. I'm gonna point out the things that are, you know, I'm gonna point out the things that the ring does like Goku Black's actual ring in the show and the things that doesn't. Now, the first thing I'm gonna point out, well, I'm actually gonna bring it over here first. I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna cover it up so you guys can't see it right off the bat. I'm gonna lay it in my hand. Okay. Here it is. The Goku Black Time Ring. Now, you guys probably can't see it the best. Let me try to cover up my face and stuff in the back. Okay, let me try to cover up my face in the back. Actually, try to do this. It's just wanting to focus on my skin. Well, guys, okay, as you can see, it's an infinity emblem. I really wish it would focus more on the ring. I just don't want to, okay. Anyway, okay, you see, it's an infinity emblem. Right there again, we'll show it one more time. Let's just do that real quick and see. Okay, so yeah, it's just gonna wanna focus on my face. So this is what it looks like, okay? Now one thing that I gotta uh, say that I like about this ring, it is uh, it is thick, it's a thick ring around. Now we're gonna compare the back ends with the Great Gatsby ring. You know, this, so this is how we're gonna like uh, um, debate, uh, we'll like show things. Okay, so they're both facing me. Here's the back of the Great Gatsby ring. Where am I at? There I am, and that's, here's the back of this ring totally different you know in size like you know this ring stays the same size all the way around this ring like does kind of like that going around but yeah i gotta say i like that about this ring automatically because it stays true to like the series with the wanting to like, a thick ring and things now we'll compare the thickness with the great gatsby one and this one now the great gatsby one is thicker but that's because there's an m1 so i'm just like showing in size comparison okay like I said, with this ring, it stays thick all the way around. It doesn't shrink or anything. Okay. Now, one thing that is not that this ring doesn't do like uh, Goku Black does in the series is the infinity sign does not curl in. It doesn't curl inward as it comes because, um, and neither does this. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but the infinity sign on Goku Black's time ring does this. It, okay, so here, like here's the middle point. We're going to, okay, so right here where the part would start is what we're going to do. Uh, the Goku Black Time Ring actually goes around like an infinity sign and then swoops in a little bit and kind of makes a small curl. And on the bottom it does the same thing, it makes a small curl this way. The edges of them touch, but they swirl 
kind of like boom, boom, a little bit. That's what they do in the show. And the reason I know that so is because I've seen the Goku Black arc like three times. And I've always looked at the ring because I've always been fascinated by it. Because I think the time rings are really cool. I think they have like really cool like features of what they can do. Like taking you back in time, taking you in the future. But you can only do it if you're a Supreme Kai. So the little thing with Zamasu going in the future, you know. That's why he couldn't say for a long time because he wasn't a Supreme Kai. It just kind of happened because of the uh, time machine. Okay, so we're going to put this on. I ordered it at a size 10 because my index finger is a size 10. And I just got to say, it fits really well. Now, of course, it just fell off. Why? Because I was slinging it like that. And so, yeah, um, of course, it comes off kind of easy-like. I mean... Kind of to be expected. Now, one of the things guys, that you're, you're gonna want to do is you're gonna wanna, you're gonna want to clean inside the um, the middle of this thing really well because um, one of the things I'm noticing is it leaves a gray residue. Um, not sure why because it's real metal, but it kind of just leaves like a gray tint to it. It'll do it to your finger as well. So make sure you keep this bad boy clean, like clean it up really well. Because it even has left a little bit of gray on my finger. I just need to wash it off. I don't know what it is. I don't know if the paint in this thing. Maybe they painted the inside, but I mean it's it's silver. Sir, it's sterling silver apparently. But just make sure you wash it out really good and everything. Like I said. I gotta wash it off. I've been wearing it all day. Uh, I didn't know that there was gray inside it until I slept with it on last night and took it off. So just make sure you, yeah, see that's what I'm talking about. It's literally leaving gray everywhere. So yeah, you may want to clean the insides really well. You may want to do that every couple days or so. It may just be the buildup of something. I have no idea what it is, why it does it. But yeah, look how clean that's looking inside there now. Maybe, maybe you just need to clean it. Like, may, maybe it's one of those things you gotta clean, like, daily and stuff. But, yeah, it's leaving gray. I don't know how much of that gray stuff is in there. But just clean it, you know? Like, don't sit there and just, like, oh, my gosh, I'm just gonna wear it. I don't know. Make sure you get the ring clean, you know? Rings need to be, need to be cleaned and uh, things like that. Don't just wear them all the time. I clean the Great Gatsby ring all the time. I don't know what it is. It leaves gray all over this thing. Like, I don't know what that is, why it does that. I may have to ask the guy online what it is because I didn't see anybody putting any comments about that on there. I mean, but look look at that. That's what I'm talking about. What is on this thing that's making it like that? I don't know. I mean, it's making it shiny, but I mean, like, what what's the point of it being shiny and everything if... It's just going to leave gray all over all the time. Yeah, my hands are... It's almost like it's like a graphite thing. I have no idea. I don't know. I'll clean them off and everything. It'll be okay. Yeah, but look at that. Now we've got the ring all shiny and everything. All dolled up and all that. Alright, I'm going to put it back on. Okay, I'm going to put this ring back on as well. Actually, hold on. We're going to try something. We're going to see if the Great Gatsby ring does that whenever we clean. We're going to clean it on a side that's... Because this ring is also silver. So, uh, sterling silver. So let's see. Just to test the theory. I mean, it's never left so, uh, that color on my ring before. I mean... Maybe it's just dirty. I mean, like, I think it's leaving a little bit on. There's probably just dirt and stuff build up from me wearing them all the time. But anyway, guys, we're not here to talk about that. Um, of course, if you guys did enjoy this video, we finally got the Goku Lifetime earring. You're going to see it in so many more videos with this ring now. So whenever I hit that pose, that... Because this is what the Goku Black pose is. I was doing it wrong all this time, so... Alright, guys, but of course, if you all did enjoy, I'll see you all in the next one. But until then, though... Boom, peace out and have a good one.